Hey my lovely TTs, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are having a blessed day. Let's get straight into the tea. I wanted to start this video off with Jada Waiter's sister, Amira. Now if you guys don't remember, about two months ago in May, I let you guys know that Jada Waiter and her sister were opening new businesses at the same time and they both, you know, were opening these new shops. I also let you guys know that Jada Waiter actually congratulated her sister on her new shop and this was definitely a big deal because for the longest these two did not get along and they had a big blow up on social media about a year ago well after reporting this news it seemed like everything was going good with her sister's shop until today now today she posted some pictures and videos of people actually trying to break into her shop and i will have these videos and pictures posted on my instagram make sure you follow me at room for tea with two a's at the end but yes this is definitely a messed up situation she posted these videos to her instagram and said if anybody has any more information dm her there is a cash reward now even though it doesn't look like there was a whole bunch of damage done to the shop because a couple of hours later she posted to her insta story showing that she got the windows and everything fixed it was something minor i still feel like this is a very messed up situation now to kind of be on the fence about this situation and maria hasn't spoken out and said that she has had any problems with anybody and the past that could have caused this situation to happen and that doesn't justify this alleged situation but just saying we know how some people are some people get very angry and feel the need to get back at people and this is one of the ways that they would do it but still i just don't feel like it was right it's taking it too far if she's not breaking into your house your shop your car why are you trying to break in to her shop it's just not right you don't see people trying to break into walmart or target or any of these other big companies over minor issues or arguments so i definitely don't feel like resorting to this was necessary just because it's her shop just because it's her business but like i said we don't know the story behind this because this is not something that she has shared with us but if more information comes out i will definitely keep you guys updated if you are interested in the story definitely let me know in the comments below anyways i want to move on into miss young miami because everybody was scared for a second when young miami posted to her twitter and she was like guys guess what now everybody was in the comments guessing that young miami was actually pregnant again now after people started to just assume that young miami was pregnant again she decided to clear up this rumor child fast quick and in a hurry she said i'm not pregnant what's wrong with y'all i am on birth control now even though she's not pregnant and this was definitely a sigh of relief for a lot of people which i do not know why why was everybody pressed on her being pregnant again i don't understand it let me know in the comments if you know it does look like she's interested in a certain new someone right now and we know this because she posted on her twitter and she said i'm feeling a certain someone right now with a smile and hearts emoji now we all know who young miami's baby daddy is and we know that they have broken up or been broken up for a little minute now young miami has you know posted consistently saying that she is happy with being single but now it looks like she's into somebody now who i think this is personally and you guys can let me know who you think it is in the comments below i think it's diddy because we all remember just a couple of weeks back at p's birthday party and p is the ceo of quality control diddy and young miami was holding hands they were all booed up whispering in each other's ears there was all types of pictures and videos that came out of these two together and we all have to remember that diddy is also single as well as young miami so do you guys think that these two are actually dating y'all let me know in the comments below anyways last but not least i wanted to talk about the situation that happened where wendy william decided to blatantly go on her show and disrespect a 19 year old who is no longer here anymore now not only any 19 year old if you guys don't know who swavy is he was a very popular tiktoker people just loved him he had many fans many followers people loved the way that he danced his personality and just his looks and unfortunately recently he did 
past now this has been reported on a lot of blogs a lot of news sites you know almost everywhere but definitely when wendy williams reported this she reported it in the wrong manner it was very disrespectful to me and a lot of people now wendy williams started this off asking her audience did they know who swaby is and then telling them that you know he had more followers than her on tiktok and then she looks back at his picture on the widescreen and looks him up and down then she tells her audience that he had passed of course her audience gasped and it was definitely just an awkward situation from there on now of course when this show was put out a lot of Swavy's friends and family did not feel good about this one of his family members and i believe this was his brother decided to speak out about this situation they tagged wendy williams and they said wendy williams you should be disgusted with yourself you couldn't even remember my little brother name you seen that he was trending and you used him for clout everybody already talking about him and you made it even worse by putting out a false narrative my mom can't even mourn because everybody being so disrespectful about her child it's sad that you have to worry about getting a lawyer when she haven't even buried my brother yet y'all so insensitive somebody else posted and said that they are working on trying to get Wendy Williams show canceled and at this point I really don't blame them for the longest Wendy Williams has said a lot of mess and up. insensitive things so I can definitely see why they would want to lawyer up now I just wanted to put this out here because a lot of people get being a blogger and podcaster and you know reporting news or a news reporter or whatever um mixed up with with, you know having to be rude or having to bash celebrities or go against them and that's definitely not the case you can be a blogger and be different and you know spread positivity and wish these celebrities well because guess what they are human as well this is a 19 year old boy who lost his life and regardless it is a sad situation and for her to be sitting up there looking him up and down like you know this is not a sad situation it makes you think okay what is going on with you and if you guys you know are up to date with wendy williams show you know that recently she was going on tabitha brown and tabitha brown and her husband and her whole family are some of the most positive people ever so it definitely seems like wendy is going through some type of midlife crisis and it just seems like she's just taking it out on everybody but i definitely want to know you guys's opinion on these three situations once again my lovely tts thank you for watching room for tea make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel let's all keep swavy's family in our prayers and i will definitely see you guys in my next video